Hi, everyone. Welcome back to UCAT Festival TV with me, Colm Cronin. And today I am delighted to be joined by the very wonderful Wendy Troxell. Wendy, how are you keeping? Wonderful, Colm. How are you, my friend? I'm very well. Delighted to have the opportunity to chat to you all the way from the great state of Texas. That's right. That's right. Nice and warm still here. Yeah, we're, we're at the tail end of, of summer here. And um, we were obviously supposed to have Emily McIntosh join us, but um, due to circumstances beyond her control, she can't. But um, you are a, a wonderful representative of the, 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 the research agenda that uh, both UCAT and uh, NACADA undertake. And uh, you wear so many hats and so capable uh, of it. But maybe you could talk to me, I suppose, a little bit, Wendy, around the... The, the research uh, work that you're doing with UCAT. Well, thank you so much. And, and I'm really sorry that Emily's not here because uh, she's she is the chair of the UCAT Research Committee and uh, is, is such a wonderful voice, a scholar, uh, a mentor, and a, a leader uh, in that area. But I, I've been uh, actually honored to be involved with the UCAT Research Committee since uh, since the beginning, um, quite a few years ago now. Um, the, the role that I have with NACADA as director of the NACADA Center for Research at Kansas State University and connected with the NACADA Research Committee, um, we have from the start um, offered a, a really strong collaboration between uh, the research agenda, the researchers and the scholars uh, and teachers uh, of both associations. And so um, the UCAT Research Committee is a really important, one of the really the first committees, uh, formal committees of UCAT. And knowing that uh, to advance the, the practice, the policy, the philosophies, the approaches of advising and personal tutoring requires deep connections to the literature base. And the, uh, the ability to both help uh, to advisors and tutors access the literature, use the literature as, a, as pedagogical tools, um, and strategies for their work is really important. And so we call those scholarly tutors or scholarly advisors. And you don't have to be a researcher. You don't have to have uh, done a statistical uh, equation to be a scholar uh, if you access the literature and consider the deeper uh, underpinnings of our work with students and the context of the work that we do, then you really are viewed, uh, you view your work in a scholarly way. So accessing the literature, collecting and curating the literature is a really important part of the work of the U UCAT Research Committee as well as Nakata's research uh, arm. Uh, and then helping uh, individuals and teams um, beef up their research skills and conceptualize research studies or philosophical inquiries and helping them with, with tools and techniques to do that. Uh, the UCAT Research Committee has a, a research mentoring program, a 14-month 14 14 pretty intensive um, support for individuals who want to be a part of that and, and, and want to kind of talk through how they can do this kind of inquiry uh, on their own. And, and so they do that as well as, as uh, some other initiatives that I'm sure we'll get into. Yeah, I, I think the work is just phenomenal that um, is undertaken because when you work in any sort of maybe student support area, the idea of research can initially seem so daunting and, and so technical and, and just so far beyond what maybe some of us do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I, I found through um, you, Kat, through you, through Emily, um, and the kind of through Oscar and, and others, Craig McGill, the ability to make it accessible. I think yeah. that is what is so brilliant in these organizations and so welcome and and i have found so much benefit 
uh, from that. So thank you for the work that you do on that. And um, I know that there is um, a new, is it publication mm. in the works? Can Maybe you could tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, happy to. This is really exciting. And, and Emily uh, has really led this along with um, uh, David Gray, um, uh, Oscar uh, von den Weinhardt from uh, the Netherlands, and Professor Liz Thomas, uh, who who we are is a good friend of of UCAT, of course. And uh, so so we are the the editors of this special edition of Frontiers in Education, uh, the Leadership and Education series. And so so this special edition is all about advising and and tutoring, and uh, a number of articles have been published already. It's kind of a rolling publication process, but uh, very soon we'll be uh, announcing kind of the package in its entirety uh, of the issue. And, and it's a series of really a global uh, lenses to the scholarship and the scholarly um, arms of advising and tutoring. And there's a series of, of straight research reports. There are essays, there are opinion papers, there are kind of policy uh, papers. And so this will offer a, a really important current look at, at a wide range of topics and, and issues and theories related to advising and personal tutoring. Um, that's really important. And, and it's, it's connected to another project that, that we have going, we're about to launch, which is kind of a content analysis of 15 years of, of research in the area uh, of advising and, and tutoring. And, but, but this, you know, we touch students at every point of their educational journey, in every program, major discipline, uh, in every phase of their academic life, and so the 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 impact that we have on them, the influence we have on them, really does need to be captured um, in lots of different ways. Um, social science research, of, of, of course, kind of qualitative, quantitative is the typical, but also philosophical approaches and, and humanities approaches and, um, you, you know, attacking and, and, and talking about the, the theories that, um, kind of that un, un, underpin our work. So, so this special edition is a really exciting, um, next step in the scholarship. Fantastic. Actually, some of the points that you uh, spoke to there were, um, I think, related certainly to um, Peter Hagen's uh, opening keynote earlier on. So mm -hmm. uh, I can definitely see synergies uh, already there. And Wendy, I suppose if people are interested in finding out a little bit more about this, is the website the best place for them to go? Yes, um, it will be uh, featured on the UCAT website soon. Um, you could go to the Frontiers and Education website. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have that URL uh, right at my fingertips, but um, and and look for the the advising and tutoring issue. But um, th th those a list of those articles and kind of the issue when it gets packaged will absolutely be highlighted on on the UCAT website. Fantastic, and we can make sure that we're um, to put the the link when we're we're posting this. Um, but you, you, alongside all of that work, you are also involved in presenting a session at the the UCAT conference. Yeah, so on th on Thursday uh, at eleven o'clock, I believe, uh, I'll, I'll be revealing some of the sub analysis that we've done on the the 15 year content analysis and and so that session will be uh, taking a look at the theoretical frameworks that have been used in the in the advising and tutoring literature over the last almost two decades and so take a look at and and, and we borrow we really borrow and apply existing theory to the context of advising and tutoring. Um, the, the, some would argue there are theories of advising, others would argue there are theories for advising. And so if we think about the work that we do with students, we think about how we communicate with them, how we relate to them, how they learn, how they mature, uh, you know, and so the theories of sense of belonging and um, cognitive 
um, learning and um, self-efficacy and, and all of those types of theories that are used in learning and development absolutely apply and are relevant to the context that we are in uh, with students and, and how we learn from each others. And, and so the scholarly advisors, the scholarly tutors understand that there's a pedagogy to the work we do with students, uh, that, that, that there, are, there is learning that we hope happens and maturity that we hope we help develop. Um, and so documentation for that and exploration for that is really important to advancing our profession. Excellent. Well, having seen you present at conferences previously, I know that delegates uh, are in for a treat and uh, want to wish you the, the best uh, with that. Thank there you. are a whole host of events, I think, taking place uh, in the remaining days of the, the conference. And so for viewers, uh, you can also check out the uh, social media and the website and you'll find a lot more details on there. Wendy, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to chat with me, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm honored and, and delighted, and good luck to everybody for the rest of the festival. It's a wonderful event.